Oh yeah. What up? And what's happening? To all my model car big dogs, bad boys, and homies throughout the entire model car building community. Whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, lay it low, however you may be hooked up to me right now. Just realize that you are indeed hooked up to the mainframe, known as the big homie, big stand, and I am back, live, direct, and in full effect with my first video presentation for 2013. And with that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed the Thanksgiving and Christmas of 2012. It led up to the new year of 2013. You know, I hope everybody out there had a, a spectacular holiday season. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, also, uh, let me give a big up and big shout out to everybody that subscribed to me between my last video up until now. Also, uh, appreciate everybody that left the comments and inboxes and, you know, uh, just tried to get at me and, and, you know, stayed in contact with me, checking up, checking up on me uh, during my my time away from the camera, you know and everything uh, since my last video, so, you know, I just wanted to make sure I threw that in there, but, yeah, man, uh, this this presentation for today, I'm just basically going to uh, go ahead and share with you guys the uh, the projects that I had done for the uh, first ever Lay It Low New Year's show-off, uh, that particular contest, well, it wasn't a contest, I'm sorry, it was a build-off that was uh just specifically for people that just wanted to get involved and put together either some unfinished bills or you know if you want to come up with some stuff you know that you could get done between november and new year's you know it was just a way for everybody to get in get in there and kick it you know for that particular uh situation so i decided to go ahead and throw my name in the hat since that was probably about the most suitable uh type of build out for me, you know, because I'm not really in the competition or nothing like that, you know, I just like to get down with these model cars and, and build them just for the love, you know what I'm saying, to try to just, you know, represent and, you know, see how good of a job I can do with them from time to time, but, but yeah, man, uh, anyway, this first bill that you're checking out right now is the uh, 6.4 Impala Lowrider. They started out as a hard top, and it would also had a fully functional uh, had a fully functional hopper setup on it. But I decided to go ahead and uh, convert it into a to a drop top. The interior was already done in black and everything for the most part. I just added some dice in the rear view, and, uh, and what else? I just kind of enhanced the details on it a little bit more. I put a little bare metal fall in places that it didn't have it to begin with and you know what i'm saying just just try to do as much detail work to it as possible i also went on ahead and and uh went with some black spokes as opposed to the chrome spokes that was on there to begin with and for the first time i got some three prong spinners on there you know what i'm saying everybody knows that i'm i'm mainly known for oh, excuse the camera but uh, I'm mainly known for the uh, two prongs, but I decided I was going to kind of switch it up a little bit for this go round right here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on on the, uh, on the, what what color is this? Uh, ruby red. Yeah, for the ruby red 6.4, you know what I'm saying? It's just curbside because I know I'll eventually try to throw another uh, fully functional setup on it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just leaving it like that. And then also, uh this bill right here I was I was really excited about doing the 62 Impala low rider. I went on ahead and went with a nice black on it. Black and red combination. Let me see if I can get a good focus on it. There we go. And uh you know, I did a pretty good job on it as well, I guess. Uh, you know, for the time that I had to work on it, I tried to, you know, uh, incorporate as much detail with it as possible. I went with the red spokes with with bullet centers this time. That's also a, a first for me, you know what I'm saying, to uh, go with that type of uh, center. 
I did as much detail work on the inside of it as possible with the uh, different little uh, chrome pieces that you see in the doors and the seats and what have you, you know. Uh, got some uh, silver buttons running throughout the uh, the seats with the uh, biscuit tuck effect that I did with a marker. Uh, you know, Barbell to fall as much detail on it as possible. And I got to highlight the fact that uh, before I really got into doing my low riders on the level that I do them now, my homie uh, Pueblo Pack out of, out of California, man, I seen the way that he he uh, liked to incorporate as much detail on his kits, you know, his low riders and things. So I just felt it was only right that I try to step my game up, man, and, uh, you know, do as, as much of uh, – the same, you know, take the same approach with with uh, my detail and attention to detail as, as he did, you know what I'm saying? And this kid here is also curbside for the time being because, like I say, uh, I never know when I might end up trying to throw some fully functional hydraulics on it or something. And then also I've got the, uh, the drop lack, lay cab, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know how I go with the uh, lac symbol in the front right there. Went back with the big boy grill in the front this time also. And, uh, you know, got a nice, uh, got a nice, uh, felt fuzzy fur material in there this time, man. And if you would notice, I actually got five screens in that bad boy from the, from the flip out here in the, in the dash. That is a, that's a flip out right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you'll be able to see it real good. Let me try to try to get a little light on it. Yeah, got a flip out on there, and uh, I actually went on ahead and did me some some wood detail on the inside. Uh, got the visor screens jumping off. I got screens in the headrest. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, also what I got, I got some two-prong, got some two-prong fat boy spinners on, on this one right here. I, I had no choice but to go, go two-prong on this one here, but I didn't do like I did with my green lac and, and add Dayton emblems, you know, because I'm not for sure if Dayton actually makes a spinner that looks quite like that, but yeah, now for the trunk set up. I went a little different with my trunk setup on this one here. Uh, got the got the Cadillac symbol with the uh, with the chrome in the lid part, and then uh, I went with like let me move my arm so y'all can get a little more light. Went with some round speakers this time and instead of the squares. Also uh, got the uh, the two piston pumps with the. Uh, Four Delta dumps, hard line, ran throughout. And those pumps were provided by my, my good homie uh, D out of Mississippi, representing the LUGK car club, model car club. Big shout out to my homie D. Uh, got the uh, the battery rack running running in the very back of the trunk this time. Also, uh, you know how I do, man. Everything's wired up and ready, and, and you know, it's, it's ran right. Uh, got the uh, six cylinders, you know what I'm saying, coming off the battery. You know, just trying to do a little something. Still got the BSD, BSD Texas place jumping off back there. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the homie D for the place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was running a little special on them a while back, so I was able to to come across something like that, you know. But yeah, man, uh that's pretty much it on 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 this uh video right here. I hope everybody enjoyed the presentation and everything and uh you know, I should be back maybe towards the end of the week with another video that's that's going to feature uh a lot of the future bills that I've got coming up. The upcoming bills that I'm that I'm gonna try to get together for uh, 2013. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. 
And uh, y'all are. This is your big homie, Big Stan, signing off. Saying y'all already know what it is. And y'all already know what it do. All right. Y'all stay cool with it. I almost forgot. Yeah!